It's time for some chaos! Yes, it's Liliana here to do the pack blessings. We have a chaos six pack, one of these warm up deals. These seem to be getting pretty hard to find now, so I don't have many left. But I thought I'd crack one open in the middle of the week and check it out. So let's get stuck into it. Hopefully we don't get too badly hosed today. And incidentally, the Patreon, because Empty Jam Pact is now on Patreon, we have a new tier called the Chaos Jackalot tier. So I think people will be interested in that next month. Check it out. Stay tuned. Okay, let's set this aside and see what packs we get today. Alright, Oath of the Gatewatch, Ixalan, and our promo! Oh ho ho, what a surprise! Thalia's Lancers. We've got about 10 million of these at this point. Alright, so we've got an Armin Kit. Oh, nice selection today. Kaladesh and Born of the Gods. And a BFZ. Whoa! Okay, I am quite impressed with this selection. So let's. Do the pack blessings. If you're not familiar, there are actually four sets here that have the lottery cards. So those are the shiny goodness. So there's these two sets and these two. So we have the expeditions out of these, the invocations and the inventions. So maybe, just maybe, we can pull one of those. I know the odds are astronomical, but wouldn't that be nice? All right, so Liliana did the pack blessings. I'm liking this selection. Let's go. Um, we'll do this first. This, 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 and this. How about that? All right, so let's get stuck into it. Starting off with Ixlan. Fingers crossed we get some crazy pulls today because these may be among the last packs from the Chaos Six Packs. I've got two more boxes left. I'll probably do them some weekend coming up in the next month or so. Let's get cracking here. We have Sun Crowned Hunters, Vampire Zeal, Desperate Castaways, Fire Shrine Keeper, Commune with Dinosaurs, Storm Sculptor, Hijack, nice to see Angrath there, Pious Interdiction, Crushing Canopy, Water Trap Weaver, and for the Uncommons we have Deep Root Waters, Dire Fleet Captain, Lightning Strike, and the rare is Revel in Riches. Okay, so this is an enchantment for five. Whenever a creature, whenever an, <laughs> whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, create a colorless treasure artifact token with tap. Sack this artifact, add one mana of any color to your mana pool, and at the beginning of your upkeep, if you control ten or more treasures, you win the game. Have you managed to pull that off? Leave a note in the comments. And a swamp and the treasure that we need. Okay, let's set that aside. Nothing too crazy so far, but maybe Oath of the Gate Watch. Let's go dig in and see what we can find today. Lots of Eldrazi, no doubt. Here we are. Eldrazi drone. We start off with a cultivator drone. Expedite. Undo War Cleric. Ancient Crab, Netcast the Spider, Witness the End, Boulder Salvo, and a nice waste. Pretty cool, full art. Sweep Away, Sears Lantern, and for the Uncommons we have Tranquil Expanse, Relief Captain, Ruin in Their Wake, and the rare is Oath of Chandra. So this is a legendary enchantment for two. When Oath of Chandra enters the battlefield, it deals three damage to target creature and opponent controls. And at the beginning of each end step, if a planeswalker enters the battlefield under your control this turn, Oath of Chandra deals two damage to each opponent. All right, maybe we should have had Chandra here instead of Liliana. And a cool full art mountain. And a elemental token. Look at that. It's pretty striking, okay. Nothing too crazy there as far as I know. Onward to Armin Kit. This is the set that started the madness when I started playing Magic. I know I'm a fairly new player as you might imagine. Armin Kit, what was that? Uh, early 2017. But yeah, have some fond memories of that set. Although the actual value is pretty 
Poor, but let's see how we do today. Cancel, Thresher Lizard, June Beetle, Initiate's Companion, Decision Paralysis, Honed Kopesh, Cartouche of Ambition, Shimmer Scale Drake, Ushra Cultivator, Blazing Volley, and for the Uncommons we have a Nest of Scarabs! That is pretty disturbing. Embalmer's Tools, Limits of Solidarity, and rare is Harvest Season. So we've got one of these weird white zombies. Sorcery for three, search a library for up to X basic land cards, where X is the number of tapped creatures you control, and put those cards onto the battlefield tapped, then shuffle your library. And a planes, and an insect token. Very nice. Okay, but not what we were looking for. Onward to Kaladesh. I would really like another invention. I've only got a couple of those, so I'd like to pull another today. That would be fantastic. We have Aether Tradewinds, Reckless Fireweaver, Herald of the Fair, Thriving Turtle, Sage of Shayla's Claim, Torch Gauntlet, Dund Operative, Glintsleeve Artisan, Jukara Peafowl, and for the Uncommons we have a Ballista Charger, Furious Reprisal, Ceremonious Rejection, and Rare is Confiscation Coup. This was a fun one back in the day. It's a sorcery for five. Choose target artifact or creature. You get four energy, then you may pay an amount of energy equal to that permanent's converted mana cost. If you do, gain control of it. Very fun. And a foil, Iron Lead Steed. Pretty cool, and a mountain, and a servo token. All right, moving right along, we have BFZ. I will say BFZ probably has the record for the worst posing it has ever given me from any set. I opened a single box of this garbage and it was worth about $30. So I was not impressed with that. Let's hope we do better today. We start off with one of these cool Eldrazi Incubator Drones, Culling Drone, Kozilek Sentinel, and leave a note in the comments who is excited for the Eldrazi to come back. I think they should bring them back at some point. I'm not sure how that fits in the lore though. Cliffside Lookout, Tajuru Beastmaster, Demon's Grasp. Skyline Cascade, and for the Uncommons we have Eldrazi Sky Spawner. Another one of these weird Eldrazi drones. Half the time I don't even know what I'm looking at. Ruin Processor. Rising Miasma is the first of the Uncommons, and that is another one of these weird and wonderful Eldrazi looking scenes. Pilgrim's Eye, Blighted Cataract, and rare is Bring to Light. So this is a sorcery for five, has converged. So search a library for a creature, instant or sorcery card with converted mana cost less than or equal to the number of colors of mana spent to cast Bring to Light. Exile that card, then shuffle your library. You may cast that card without paying its mana cost. All right, always good to cheat things out without paying the mana cost there. And a foil sheer drop with a nice full art forest and an emblem of Gideon. There he is. Maybe we should have had Gideon. All the planeswalkers are appearing, but not Liliana. Okay, final pack here. Born of the Gods, we're going back to the Theros block which incidentally we covered on the channel fairly early on. So we went through, what is it, Theros, Born of the Gods, and I can't think of the other one. I'll leave a note in the comments if you can remember it. Final pack, we have Satyr Wayfinder, Faragax Giant, Retraction Helix, Great Heart, and incidentally we have a chance of pulling one of those gods in here. So we'll see how we do. Weight of the Underworld, Sudden Storm, Kragma Butcher, Aspect of Hydra, Mortals Resolve, Divination, and for the Uncommons we have Pillar of War. That is pretty cool. Siren Song Liar, 
Raised by Wolves and the Rare is Guild. Sorcery for four. Exile target creature. Put a colorless artifact token named Gold onto the battlefield. It has sacked this artifact. Add one mana of any color to your mana pool. Okay, so sort of like the treasure tokens on the newer sets and a forest and a bird token. All right, so those are our pools today. Leave a note in the comments how you think Liliana did. I don't think it was that great personally, but I could be wrong. All right, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings, and be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. And let me know in the comments, have you seen these Chaos 6 packs around your local Walmart, or are they clearing them out? I think they're going to be eclipsed by those horrid um, mystery cube things, so yeah, not looking forward to that. But anyway, thanks for watching, and have a great day.